Hi there, uh, Alex from Trestles London here. Uh, so I want to show you how I, I make my templates for this kind of uh, cutaway. So this one, this specific template is made for the door pulls. This is a, um, uh, a wardrobe and finishing for clients in South London. I really like the oak, the oak um, uh, finish with this door pull that look amazing and it's just um, really crisp and, and really nice. But the most important bit uh, uh, on making things like that with matching doors is really to have the two doors perfectly lining up. So you want to be able to reproduce the same cut over and over again on different doors all the way along a piece of furniture or something, um, whether it's drawers or whatever. But you want them to match and, and be very crisp and, and meeting uh, very neatly. Uh, and for this user template, so this specific uh, cut is, uh, I've used my uh, finger pull for drawers and doors and a collie as well with an offset. And this works with a template like this one. So it's a very, you know, it's a very simple template, but it's got to be accurate and it's got to be transferable from left to right. Uh, and it's got to be bang on, uh, on, on every door. So if you have two doors matching left and right, which are mirror image, uh, they, all were, they will always be matching. So the main trick for this is basically when you make the templates, we feel all your measure, measurements from, uh, from a center line. And then, and then when you have your center line, you have a mirror image of this from, uh, from left to right. So I measure from the center line up and down. And then once I've got my marking, my, my, my lines, I just run it through the table. So, so I'm going to show you how I run this uh, through the table saw, and then after um, uh, we're gonna use a router with a guide on it to, to get uh, rid of the excess material and get a very uh, straight lines, very accurate with square lines and everything uh, template that is really easy to do in about 10 minutes and it's really easy to refill from because of our center line for any panels left or right uh, and repeats uh, those cuts very efficiently and very fast. So here is where we're going to take full advantage to, to the table saw and, and scoring uh, uh, all our guidelines for these templates with the table saw. The beauty of a table saw is it's always parallel if you like and perpendicular. So uh, the, the slide is definitely an asset for this because it's a very safe way to cross cut <coughs> very long piece uh, in a very safe way and dead square as well. I mean this is really really a, a, a square, it's, it's a very good way to do it. Um, so the first line is obviously this first scoring here is obviously running parallel with the fence without the slate. So you just measure where you want your collet, how far you want your collet uh, or your guide bush, sorry, to, 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 to go inside the piece and then measure up the distance between the fence and this side of the blade and you've got your first, your first score here. Then after, uh, the slate is handy for this. All you have to do is just mark from the center line again uh, so I've got my center line here. I've measured up the left and right, uh, each side, same distance. Make, uh, uh, I lined up my mark, mark line just where the blade, the, the, the cutoff of the blade here is. Run it through with the slate. Do the same here on the right side of the blade always, of course. Run it through with the blades just enough to score maybe like a couple of mil inside, two, three mil inside. And then we end up with this kind of lines. <coughs> From here onwards, you, you would just cut the excess material with a jigsaw and leave, um, uh, leave just the extra material here to be cut with the router. The water will cut, will, um, the guide bush will run against the scored um, material uh, uh, here. And then we'll cut the excess material here in, in uh, uh, perfectly square and parallel, basically. The table saw is amazing because everything is parallel and square. So it's a very good way to get your template done uh, uh, very accurately and, and, and very square and parallel. So for anything that is a cutaway or an insert plate like this from the edge, um, uh, it's a very fast and accurate way to do it. So I don't even keep templates like this anymore. I just reduce them as I need them because they take space and they get lost and they're all different dimensions and stuff. So Something like that takes less than 10 minutes to make basically this template with a guy bush like this on the table. So if you have a slide, it's less than 10 minutes, it's not worth keeping. And they, they can be made bespoke for each and every project or each and, each and every insert uh, you might need to do with a router and a colleague.
So there is many ways to adapt this technique to different type of templates, uh, uh, whatever your needs are. Like I will make potentially some more video explaining more uh, different applications for it. But if you, if you get the grasp of this, basically, you can definitely use it for different um, um, applications. If you like this video, like it. If, uh, if you have any questions, do send me uh, uh, something on the board and I will reply to it the best I can. And uh, if you like those videos, uh, amongst others, do subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.